One of our most compelling travel dreams over the past few years has been to go to Mexico's Sea of Cortez, that protected sea between Baja, Mexico, and the mainland. My husband Douglas and I had read about the whales calving inside the protection of Baja and how wild and beautiful it was. And I'd always read about the sea life, the hiking, the solitude you could still find there. And we made our dream come true last year. We flew from Rhode Island to Mexico City, then on to La Paz, which is a great town with lots to do, great restaurants, and good supermarkets for provisioning. Just outside La Paz is a marina and hotel, which is where we picked up our boat for, a three, for our three-week charter. We chartered tr- two boats for this trip, first a 38-foot monohull sailboat, which we took out for two weeks by ourselves. And then we came back to the moorings base and met some of our friends who'd flown in, and then we all moved on to this 46-foot catamaran. We set out again on that one for another 10 days. Once you leave La Paz, you sail north, and almost immediately, you're in a vast protected marine sanctuary. There are no hotels, no stores, no tourists, just the peaceful beauty of the desert coast. The beaches were endless expanses of white powdery sand stretching for miles and miles, and we had them all to ourselves for long walks. But what really amazed me was the color of the land. Here's an example. It's distinctly striated with orange, black, and brown layers that tell the story of its geological history. Here's what you see from a distance, a rugged orange mountain range that stretches as far as the eye can see all the way along the coast. We'd come to see the wildlife, and we weren't disappointed because it was everywhere. Everywhere we swam, everywhere we walked, dolphins swam alongside our boat every day. Every day we'd get up, make breakfast, set sail for our next destination, and it was all really easy eyeball navigation. The water's super deep, so you can sail right up close to the coast if you like for a terrific show of nature. Then we'd anchor in some gorgeous cove. The anchoring is so easy, and it's all great suction cup sand that really holds your anchor. We'd put on our wetsuits, jump in the dinghy, and go snorkeling. And often all along the shore were seals, and the pups would come out to play with us in the water. When we were underway during the day, we'd troll a fishing line, and we used a yo-yo, which is easier to carry in our suitcase, and it worked really well. So here's Douglas with dinner. The real reason we'd come during February is because that's when the whales have just given birth, and they bring their calves into the Sea of Cortez for a few months for its protection. Uh, before they head back out into the Pacific to migrate toward the Arctic. The thrill of this place is your proximity to nature. The seals are playful and pretty unafraid of boaters, and like the whales, it was their birthing season, so the pups were everywhere. At a couple of the islands, the seals were so curious about us and wanted us to come in the water to play, and we were wearing wetsuits, so perhaps we looked seal-like. When we did go in, well, it was really playtime. They'd swim away for a while, then the pups would swim back to us and tug at our flippers, and then come up really close and look into our masks, and then they'd dart away like torpedoes. Everywhere you go in the Sea of Cortez is alive with color and with nature, and and underwater and above. But there are no amenities out there, no hotels, no development, no tourists. You have to bring with you what you need to eat and drink. And if you like fishing, well, then it's a paradise. But if you're not that into fishing, occasionally you can go ashore and sometimes you might find a lone Mexican fisherman who'd be happy to sell you some of his catch. Here's one of our favorite anchorages, protection on almost all sides, crystal clear turquoise water all around our boat, and an easy dinghy ride to shore. There we go in to see the mountain arroyos with their cactus flowers and cool rock formations, and from the top we'd look down and see our boat and capture this memory of a perfect boating vacation and that feeling you get when you make a dream come true.